It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. What's up, people, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And yes, today, we're on the iPhone 11 again. But today, I want to come to you real quick because I want to discuss punitive damages. Because a lot of times you hear me say sue police officers in their personal or individual capacity. And one of the things that most people don't understand is when I'm saying do it that way, it's because, one, they lose their immunity or even for the most part, their employment when they violate your civil rights. And the second part of that is you can't really put a dollar amount on one's liberty, their life, or, well, actually, they try to put a number on your life, but we'll get into that later, too. But you can't put value on certain things. That's where punitive damages come in. And this is also where a lot of times you'll hear me say, sue them and take their pension. And that's where punitive damages lie. Because depending on how long they've been working there, and depending on even variation from city or even positions, their pension will vary and there is no set dollar amount. So today, punitive damages is it's damages exceeding simple compensation and awarded to punish the defendant. Again, taking one's pension, making them start over is a form of punishment because when you're talking about someone that is violating another person's civil rights that they have vowed or took an oath to protect, punishment should fit the crime, as they love to say. And a better, more qualified definition would be exemplary damages or damages as excess in order to punish the defendant for outrageous conduct and or to reform or deter the defendant and others from engaging in conduct similar to which formed the basis of the lawsuit. This is also where the thing of clearly established comes from. Because, just like I said, one's pensions vary. There are certain things that you can't put a dollar amount on. So if you have multiple officers that are doing a very similar violation and then one has a judgment against them. Understanding the, the original judgment sets it up for everyone that follows behind it. That's when it becomes clearly established. So if you have a 19 year officer that does something and his violation or her violation establishes a baseline of, let's just say a million dollars. If a first year or second year person does not have a million dollars and they do that exact same violation, the clearly established rule doesn't apply because they don't have the million dollars. So again, this is where it comes from. This is part of what I say. This is also punitive damages, which is what I am speaking about when I'm talking about going to get one's pension. So that's all I got. Thank you for donations. And this video is sponsored by Manny. I am actually got to do a commercial for him, so be on the lookout for that. Great guy. If you're looking for financial work, he's that guy. And especially if you're in Texas. Keep donating. Apple Pay. Google Pay. Venmo. 
Cash App, my favorite, because you don't have it, we need to fight because you get bonuses and discounts and maybe you just don't like saving money. Maybe you don't want the $5 Cash App going to give us. You know, I, I think that's what it is. You might not want it. I want it. Download it. Send me five. Cash App send you five. And then we both get five. <laughs> and also those that don't have any of those, Zelle from your bank. Do it for free. The wire is quick easy and set up already so until next time another casualty